Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a five looks, one palette with the absolutely beautiful new bronze palette by Natasha Denona right over here. I did go ahead and use every single shade that comes in here in some way for my looks today. So after my video, if you had any questions on how to incorporate any of these shades into eye looks, hopefully I resolved those for you. If you're new to my channel, five looks, one palette videos is something I do quite often, pretty much anytime a new palette comes out that excites me I buy it I review it and I do a five looks one palette video with it so if that is something you're into and if you find this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe before you leave I did already do a review on the palette and you'll find two other looks on that video along with the review on the face palette which I bought as well I am currently using the face palette again and after I uploaded my review video I saw some other reviews on the collection and it looks like the face palette did not work for a lot of other people it might be that I got lucky and that this one just kind of suits my complexion because I do really like it with that said this is the first face palette by Natasha Denona that I really like because anytime I've tried other ones I found that the shades weren't my favorite so I'm definitely excited that this one worked for me and also kind of surprised that everybody else just did not like it the eyeshadow palette though had great reviews across the board everybody seemed to love it and so do I so let's get started with these five looks don't forget before you leave to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below one through five which look was your favorite one with that said let's go ahead and get started for the first look I'm going to start by using the color Ridge on my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to apply it as a transition shade so I'm going to just back and forth do some windshield wiper motions with my brush and diffuse that color a fun fact about my Sigma E40 brush is I use it almost every time I do my makeup and I've had this specific one for at least six years it's still one of my absolute favorite eye brushes and it's lasted so nicely for so long now that the color rich is really nicely blended as a nice wash of color on my crease we're going to deepen up things a lot and i'm going to use the color deep dive with my refer number one brush to darken up this whole look the color deep dive is a cream to powder formula so i'm going to start by just tapping with my refer number one brush on the outer corner of the eye here and slightly just going onto the crease with it. And once I've placed that color, I'm going to start blending the edges to hopefully mix it with the color rich. If this doesn't work and the colors are just too different, I'll add a middle shade to make them blend a little bit more nicely. So as you can see, I'm doing little circles with my refer number one around the color deep dive and slowly bringing it in to blend it nicely. I was doubting myself there for a second, but I think I'm not going to end up using another shade. I think this blended out nicely. I am going to darken things up with more deep dive on the outer corner of the eye because I want it to look really nice and dark back here. And with the tip of the brush and a very light pressure, again, just blending it up a little bit. Back to the color rich with my E40 from Sigma. We're going to just make sure that everything looks nice and blended i got a little fallout when i intensified things so i'm just going to wipe that off real quick and let's create a little bit of a higher edge here okay i'm liking how that looks so far i'm grabbing my refer number two brush next and the color rhodium and we're going to go in to the eyelid with that color and i'm just tapping and swiping all over my eyelid to build up intensity if you want to build intensity faster just use your finger i like the brush because i like to be precise with my edges up here but you can use your finger for like all over the eyelid i just wiped my refer brush on a paper towel and i'm just going to use it to make sure that things are blended on the crease here all right and this is the top of the first look i'm going to do some face makeup and i'll be right back to finish it up i love how like nice and smoky it is so far i'm back with some makeup around my eye let's go ahead and finish up this eye look i have my refer number three brush here with the color deep dive and i'm going to just back and forth swipe that brush underneath my lower lash line to add the same amount of depth i have on the top of the eye to the bottom of the eye i love that this little refer brush has a little point to it and it is very soft at the same time so it's 
perfect for something like this. Next with my JH38 from Morphe and the color Rich, we're going to smoke out that lower lash line by back and forth swiping on the edge of deep dive. And all the way to the outer corner here. Since this palette doesn't have a light enough color for an inner corner highlighter, for every look in my inner corner, I'm going to be using the color Super Glow Nude from her face palette. And I'm just going to apply it on the inner corner of the eye right here with a tiny little flat brush. I'm done with the eyeshadows for look number one. Let me do some mascara, lashes, and eyeliner and show you the final look. I'm back. I went ahead and did some eyeliner in the waterline. This is the Bedroom Black Eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury. And I applied some mascara as well. This is what the first look is like without falsies, just a little bit of mascara around the eye. I am going to put on some falsies and show you what that looks like as well. I'm back with some lashes on. These are hipster lashes from Shop Alter Ego. And this right here is the first look. I really love mixing cool and warm tone shades, so I love how warm the crease is and how cool tone the eyelid is. And this is a really nice, dark, sultry, smoky eye. It's definitely more of an evening look. I really like the way it came out. To get started with the second look, I'm going to use the color Beach on my E40 brush from Sigma. And I'm going to use it as a transition shade. So I'm doing some windshield wiper motions with it, blowing it out a little bit on the outer part right here. I really love the color Beach as a transition shade. I think it works wonders. It's really nice. I went back for a little bit more beach a couple of times till I have this nice wash of color. I'm switching to my JH33 from Morphe and the color Suntan. And I'm going to start adding it on the outer corner of the eye and blending it into the crease by doing little circles with my brush to intensify the eye look. And just continue to blend with the tip of your brush until the colors transition very nicely into one another. Next, with the tip of that same JH33 brush and the color Magma, I'm going to intensify things a little more and blend it into the crease color right here with the tip of it. I'm going to use that shade on the inner part of the eye as well and just do little circles right here, make sure that it blends and use very light pressure so that everything blends out nicely. Once things look like this, I'm going to switch to my refer number two brush and the color True Copper, which I cannot wait to use. And I'm going to just put it right through the center of the eyelid. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful glowy shade. I'm going to continue to add a little bit more of True Copper and I'm just patting it through the center of the eye all the way to the crease area. And once I barely have anything left on my brush, I'm just going to blend it up here by back and forth just swiping. Back to the JH33 and a very small amount of the color Magma, I'm going to just pat the edges of True Copper to make sure that things are nicely blended. And with my Sigma E40, nothing added to it. I'm just going to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions up here to make sure that everything looks blended. This is the top of a second look. I'm going to be right back with some makeup on my face to finish it up. All right, I'm back. I put a little bit of makeup on. Let's finish up this eye look. I'm going to start by grabbing my refer number three brush and the color Magma. And I'm going to darken up the outer and the inner part of my lower lash line. Then with my JH38 from Morphe and the color Beach, we are going to smoke that out. And I'm going to go all the way across with it and with my morphe e36 and the color true copper i'm going to do the center of my under eye right here just to kind of mimic what we did at the top a little bit more beach underneath to smoke that out as well and then i'm doing an inner corner highlighter again i'm using the face palette but any other golden shimmery shade that is light enough is a good inner corner highlight I'm going to do Fake Awake by Tarte in the waterline. All right, and this is look number two without mascara or lashes on. I'm going to do some mascara and show you what that looks like. 
here I am with just some mascara on. Everything, of course, will be linked down in the description box of the video. And this is what look number two is like with just mascara and the fake awake eyeliner in the waterline of my eye. I'm back with some lashes on and this is the second look with lashes. I really love that true copper shade. It's so pretty and so shiny. It really makes this eye look stand out really nicely. And one of my favorite like deepening the outer corner shades is Magma, especially in this palette. But I feel like of, of all time, like that shade is just incredible. <laughs> and um, yeah, I really love how this look turned out. Let's get started with the third look and I'm going to start this one a little different because I'm going to start with the outer and inner corner color rather than the crease. So I'm going to use the color Magma with my refer number one on the outer corner of the eye and also the inner corner because I want to make a little bit of a halo eye but I think I'm going to try and do something a little different. We'll see. So I'm tapping, tapping, tapping Magma right here on the outer corner, extending it a little bit higher up to the crease right there and I'm going to do the same thing in the inner part of my eye right here so I'm just tapping that color on the inner part as well and I'm going to just kind of blend the edges a little bit by doing little circles around the edge same thing here next with my refer number two in the color alloy I'm going to just do the center of the eye by tapping that color right there in place, right in the center, and all the way to the lashes down here. I know this looks bizarre, but I think I know what I'm doing, so we'll see. So that's that color alloy. And then with another shader brush, this one is the number 15 by Sephora Collection and the color Gloaming. I'm going to tap that in between. So I'm going around the edges of alloy, and tapping gloaming. Same thing on this edge and also right above. Back with my reference number one, I haven't added anything else to it. I just want to smooth out these edges that I've created up here. So I'm back and forth with whatever is left on that brush, making that edge a little bit more round. That actually worked. That was what I was going for. So let's see. With a little bit more magma, I'm going to just make sure my outer corner is nice and intense and my inner corner as well and then with my JH33 and the color sundown I'm going to go through that edge so just back and forth swiping that color through the edge that I created I wiped any product left off of my JH33 brush and I'm just going all the way to my eyebrow to fade sundown upwards that was actually super easy to use just make sure that you follow the steps. I know it looked bizarre at first, but look, it turned out nice. So I'm going to do some face makeup and finish this one up. I'm back with some makeup on and I'm going to start the same way I started the top by using the color Magma underneath the eyes on the outer and inner corners. And I'm using my refer number three brush for this. I'm rubbing my Sephora collection number 18, which is a very tiny flat brush and the color Alloy and I'm putting it right underneath my lower lash line by tapping it in place right there and I'm going to tap a little bit of gloaming where the two colors meet JH33 and the color sundown and we're going to smoke it all out just like we did on top and I'm staying around what I did so that it doesn't mess up the under eye put on your favorite inner corner golden highlighter and this is look number three without lashes or mascara it, I really love the way it's turning out and I think it's going to be my favorite look. We'll see what 4 and 5 look like, but so far, this is my favorite. Let me do some mascara and be right back to show you what that looks like. I'm back with some mascara on and I also put a dark brown eyeliner in my waterline and this is what look number 3 is looking like before lashes, just with some mascara on. I really love the way this one came out and I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comment section below so let me know and I'll be right back with some lashes on. Alright and finally here is look number three with some lashes on. I'm using the same ones for every look most likely. These are the hipster 
by Shop Alter Ego. I like these because they're not super extremely dramatic, but you can still see a big difference, you know? Loving look number three. I hope you guys like it as well. I'm back. Let's go ahead and get started on the fourth look. I'm going to use the color Beach on my Sigma E40 brush as my transition shade. So I'm going to back and forth just blend that color Beach on the upper crease of the eye. Back for a little more. I want a nice wash of color on the crease. And next I'm going to get the JH33 with the color Suntan to darken up the outer corner of the eye and the crease. So first I tapped it on the outer corner and now I'm starting to blend it into the crease of the eye but by doing little circles around where I placed the shade and bringing it forward. A little bit more suntan and blend it. With my refer number two and the color high degree, I'm going to go ahead and pat that color right here next to the outer corner towards the center of the eyelid and that color high degree is so beautiful all the way to the crease area and I could do it all the way through should I do it all the way through let me do the whole center of the eyelid and determine with that same brush I'm going to get the color true bronze and put it towards the inner part of the eye so from the inner part to the center and a little bit over high degree so that they mix nicely into one another. And with the brush and making a little bit of an edge with true bronze right here on the crease. I'm really liking the way this turned out. I'm going to do some face makeup and I'll be right back to finish it up. I'm back with some makeup on and I'm going to use the color suntan underneath my lower lash line. I'm applying it with the E36 from Morphe. And I think I'm going to just go all the way to the tear duct area with it. Connect it right here at the end. And then with my M506 and the color Beach, we are going to smoke that out by just back and forth blending with very light pressure. I'm going to use the inner corner highlight I've been using throughout this whole video and just pack it right there in the center and in a little bit. I use Urban Decay's Torch Eyeliner in the waterline of my eye right there. I'm going to put on some mascara and show you look number four. I really love how the color True Bronze sparkles. It's really nice. I'm going to do some lashes next and I'll be right back to show you the final look number four. All right, I'm back. Lashes are on and this right here is the fourth look. I really love the way it came out and I love that color True Bronze. I think that one is so freaking pretty. It's got like extra sparkles to it, which I really appreciate. I really love this look as well, so let me know what you think in the comment section. And finally we got to the fifth and last look. I am grabbing the color Beach on this Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to use that as a transition shade. I'm going back and dipping my brush a couple of times until I get nice intensity from it because I'm going to go into deep dive afterwards, so I want to have a nice base to blend deep dive into. Okay, so now with the refer number one brush and the color deep dive, I'm going to intensify this eye look on the outer corner of the eye. With the tip of the brush, I'm blending the color into the transition shade and by tapping, I'm intensifying it on the outer corner. Back with my Sigma E40 and a little bit more of the color Beach, I'm going to make sure that these two colors blend super seamlessly on the crease of the eye up here. Now I'm using the color Bliss on a flat brush and I'm putting it right in the center of my eyelid. I wanted to do another halo eye for the last look but I ended up doing a regular smoky eye because I realized that there were some shimmer shades I hadn't used and I just kind of combined them all in this look. So Bliss right here in the center first. With my refer number two in the color Palladium I'm going to just tap over the center of Bliss and the outer corner, just kind of where those two colors meet. And last but not least, with another flat brush, I'm grabbing the color Silk and putting it on the inner part of the eye. And those were the three shimmers I don't think I had used yet, so I kind of just combined them all. I do have two other looks on my review video, so if you haven't watched the review video, I'll link it right up here, and in that video I use the shades differently, so if you want two more looks to do with your palette, make sure that you check it out. 
I went ahead and intensified the outer corner a little bit more because my other eye, which I already did, was a little bit darker. But this is basically the top part of the fifth look. So I'm going to go do some face makeup and I'll be right back to finish it up. I'm back. I went ahead and did the rest of my face and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this under eye. I also put the bedroom black eyeliner right in my waterline already. With my refer number three brush and the color Deep Dive, I'm going to start tapping and swiping it underneath my eye. It's going to be the most intense on the outer corner part of my eye. And then I'm going to slowly start bringing it in all the way to the tear duct area. There we go. And now with the color Beach on my JH38, we are going to smoke that out. Make sure to blend it onto the outer corner back here. And last but not least, we need an inner corner highlight shade, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, so this right here is the fifth look without mascara or lashes. I'm going to put on some mascara and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm back with some mascara on. This is look number five with just mascara. I actually really like the way this look turned out, even though it wasn't like what I envisioned. Um, but yeah, really nice. Let me do some lashes and show you the final look. Okay, I put on some lashes and this is the final look. Woohoo! We made it. I have been sitting on this chair for eight hours now. <laughs> this is look number five right here. I like it. It's nice. It's smoky. It's sultry. It just... Mm. It was super easy to do as well. So. I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say about these looks. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section, please. And also let me know if you're going to recreate any of them. All right, so that was all five looks in this video. I think my favorite one is still number three. I do really like this one and I liked number four a lot and number one is really nice because it's got more cool tones in it. For some reason, number two, I don't even remember what I did right now. So I guess that would be the one that's not my favorite, but I really liked them all. I think if I had to pick one, I think number three. Just because of the way I did it, I don't know. I really like the way it came out. So please let me know down below which look was your favorite one. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see any up close pictures of these looks. I tend to upload pictures of my eye looks over there. And yeah, that is it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. I do lots of five looks one palette videos with most of the popular palettes that come out. And I also do reviews on a bunch of other makeup products. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!